Welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you are new here, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest content. Welcome back to our YouTube channel. If you are new here, make sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay updated with our latest content. Think about all the devices you use with Bluetooth. Headphones for music, smartwatches tracking your steps, even your car probably uses it. Bluetooth is everywhere, it's convenient. But it's also a doorway for hackers. They can use Bluetooth to steal your information, spy on you, even take control of your devices. Scary, right? Most people don't realize the risks. In this essay, we're gonna pull back the curtain on Bluetooth hacking. We'll show you how it works, the dangers involved, because in today's digital world, ignorance is not bliss. It's an invitation. Let's start with the basics. Bluetooth technology allows devices to communicate wirelessly over short distances, making our lives more convenient. Bluetooth hacking is exactly what it sounds like, exploiting weaknesses in Bluetooth technology to gain unauthorized access to your devices. And once they're in, they can cause a lot of damage, from stealing data to installing malicious software. There are a few different ways hackers can attack your Bluetooth, each with varying levels of severity. One way is called bluejacking. It's like digital graffiti, where hackers send unsolicited messages or files to your device. Then there's bluesnarfing. This is where things get more serious and potentially harmful. Imagine a stranger going through your private messages and personal data. That's bluesnarfing. This gives hackers complete control of your device, allowing them to manipulate it as if it were their own. They can listen to your conversations, track your location, even use your camera and microphone to spy on you. Think about the implications of such a breach. And with bluebugging, hackers can take all of that from you, leaving you vulnerable and exposed. We've talked about the types of Bluetooth attacks, but how do they actually work? Let's dive deeper into the mechanics behind these attacks. What are hackers looking for when they target Bluetooth devices? They often seek sensitive information or ways to control the device. One common vulnerability is weak pairing procedures. This is often the first point of attack. When you pair your Bluetooth device with another, they exchange security keys. These keys are supposed to keep the connection secure, but sometimes these keys are easy to crack. Hackers can use various tools to break these keys and gain access. It's like leaving your front door unlocked, making it easy for anyone to walk in. Another vulnerability is in the Bluetooth protocols themselves. These protocols are the rules that govern how Bluetooth devices communicate. These are the rules that govern how Bluetooth devices communicate. If these rules have flaws, hackers can exploit them. Sometimes these rules have flaws that hackers can exploit. Think of it like a software bug that lets them bypass security measures. Think of it like a software bug that lets them bypass security measures. These bugs can be very dangerous if not patched. And then there's social engineering. This is where hackers use trickery to get you to do something you shouldn't, like connecting to a malicious Bluetooth device. This is where hackers use trickery to get you to do something you shouldn't, like connecting to a malicious Bluetooth device. They might disguise it as a free Wi-Fi hotspot or a harmless looking device. They might disguise it as a free Wi-Fi hotspot or a harmless looking device. It's like leaving your keys with a stranger just because they said they were a friend. It's like leaving your keys with a stranger just because they said they were a friend. These are just a few examples of how hackers can exploit Bluetooth vulnerabilities. These are just a few examples of how hackers can exploit Bluetooth vulnerabilities. They're constantly finding new ways to break into our devices. They're constantly finding new ways to break into our devices, which is why it's more important than ever to be aware of the risks and take steps to protect ourselves. Which is why it's more important than ever to be aware of the risks and take steps to protect ourselves. Always keep your devices updated and be cautious about the connections you make. Hackers don't need fancy equipment to break into your Bluetooth. In fact, many of the tools they use are readily available online. There are software programs that can scan for nearby Bluetooth devices, 
identify vulnerabilities, and even launch attacks. Some of these programs are designed for security professionals, but they can be easily misused. Hackers can also use modified Bluetooth devices to carry out their attacks. These devices might look like harmless headphones or USB dongles, but they're actually packed with malicious software. Think about that the next time you see someone with a strange device plugged into their laptop. It might not be what you think. The point is, the tools for Bluetooth hacking are out there, and they're getting easier to use all the time. This is why it's crucial to be aware of the risks and take steps to protect yourself. Section 5. Real-World Risks – Bluetooth Breaches Making Headlines You might be thinking, this all sounds scary, but does it really happen? The answer is a resounding yes. Bluetooth hacking isn't just a theoretical threat, it's a real and present danger that's already affected millions of people. In 2017, researchers discovered a vulnerability called Blueborn that affected billions of Bluetooth devices. This vulnerability allowed hackers to take complete control of devices without any user interaction. They could steal data, install malware, and even turn your phone into a spying device. In another case, hackers used Bluetooth to target attendees at a security conference. They set up fake charging stations that infected devices with malware when people plugged in. These are just a few examples of the many Bluetooth hacking incidents that have made headlines in recent years. And as Bluetooth technology becomes even more prevalent, we can expect to see even more of these attacks in the future. Section 6. Vulnerable Connections – Devices Most Susceptible to Attacks Not all Bluetooth devices are created equal. Some are inherently more vulnerable to attacks than others. For example, older devices that haven't been updated with the latest security patches are prime targets for hackers. The same goes for devices that use outdated versions of Bluetooth. Devices that are constantly searching for a Bluetooth connection are also more vulnerable. This is because they're essentially broadcasting their presence to any nearby hackers. And of course, any device that handles sensitive information, like your smartphone, laptop, or tablet, is a high-value target for hackers. The takeaway here is that you need to be aware of the specific vulnerabilities of your devices and take steps to mitigate those risks. Section 7. Shielding Your Tech – Best Practices for Bluetooth Security The good news is that there are things you can do to protect yourself from Bluetooth hacking. Here are a few simple but effective tips that can help you stay secure. First, keep your devices up to date. Regular updates are crucial. Software updates often include security patches that fix known vulnerabilities, making your device more secure. Second, disable Bluetooth when you're not using it. This is a simple yet effective measure. This reduces your attack surface by making your device invisible to hackers who might be scanning for targets. Third, be careful about what devices you pair with. Not all devices are trustworthy. Only pair with devices you trust and avoid connecting to unknown devices as they could be malicious. Fourth, use strong passwords for your Bluetooth devices. This adds an extra layer of security. This makes it harder for hackers to gain access to your device, even if they manage to exploit a vulnerability. And finally, be aware of your surroundings. Public places can be risky. Be cautious about using Bluetooth in public places, especially if you're handling sensitive information. Always stay vigilant. By following these simple tips, you can significantly reduce your risk of becoming a victim of Bluetooth hacking. Stay safe and secure. Section 8. The Future of Bluetooth Security – Staying Ahead of the Curve The cat-and-mouse game between hackers and security professionals is constantly evolving. As Bluetooth technology advances, so too will the methods hackers use to exploit it. That's why it's important to stay informed about the latest Bluetooth security threats and best practices. There are many online resources that can help you stay up to date, including security blogs, tech websites, and government agencies like the National Institute of Standards and Technology, or NIST. In addition to staying informed, it's also important to be proactive about your Bluetooth security. This means taking steps to protect your devices before they're attacked, not after. Think of it like this. 
you wouldn't wait until your house has been burglarized to install an alarm system. The same logic applies to Bluetooth security. Section 9. Stay vigilant, stay safe. Bluetooth technology is a double-edged sword. It offers incredible convenience, but it also comes with inherent risks. By understanding those risks and taking steps to mitigate them, you can enjoy the benefits of Bluetooth without putting your privacy and security at risk. Remember, in the world of cybersecurity, knowledge is power. The more you know about the threats you face, the better equipped you'll be to defend against them. Stay vigilant, stay informed, and stay